Welcome to Rambam in Depth. Today we'll be discussing the implications of the Rambam's ruling in Hilchis Bikurim, Peruk Yiralev, Halacha He. The Rambam says as follows, HaPeydez Benei, when a father does the pidyon haben for his son, Mevarech, so the bracha that he has to make is a shikha, the shana ben mitzvah, the tzivano, or pidyon haben. That's the bracha on the mitzvah of Pidyon Haben. Then he goes and makes another bracha of Shechayanu. Then he gives the Pidyon, the money, to the Kayin. So here it's clear that you have two brachas. And which bracha comes first? The bracha on the mitzvah. And then Shechayanu. So the Chassam Sefer says from this Rambam, we see that the same thing would probably happen when you make a bracha on a new fruit, a perichadash, you make a bracha ha'etz, and then you would make the shechiyanu. Just like over here, first the bracha on the mitzvah, and then the shechiyanu. However, the Chassam Sefer says, even though that makes more sense, Chassam Sefer says that his Rebbe, Rav Nosan Adler, did it the other way, and that's the minik to do it first, the shechiyanu, and then the bracha ha'etz. So, the question is, what's the reasoning for the opinion that says that first the Shechayanu and then the bracha on the fruit? And Le'idach, the, the opinion that says that first the bracha on the fruit, then the Shechayanu. And the Alter Rebbe in, in Seder Birchus Hanenin, Paskins like the Maskana of the Chassam Sefer, that first you do the Shechayanu on the fruit and then the bracha Birchus Haperis. So the marker of all this is from a sefer, Halachas Ketanes. It's the first Pesach that talks about this. And he starts off by saying, I said that you should make Shechayanu, then the bracha on the fruit, because essentially you can make a bracha Shechayanu just by seeing the fruit, although that's not the way we do it. But nevertheless, the seeing itself warrants Shechayanu, so it makes sense to make Shechayanu before. And then he says it's better not to be mafsa between the bracha and the fruit and the eating of the fruit. That's his hava mina. Then he says shavti, that he returned to this and he concluded otherwise. The first you should do the bracha on the fruit, just like we find by lulav and Hanukkah. That first you make a bracha, birchas mitzvah, and then shechayanu. So he concludes that way. So the question is, the Ramnasan Adler, some sefer, and of course the Alter Rebbe, who say that first you make the bracha on Shechiyanu, and then the bracha on the fruit. Since we don't make a bracha on just seeing the fruit, why would we not make the bracha first on the mitzvah? And they see it from the Rambam over here clearly, that first you make the bracha on Pinyin Aben, and then Shechiyanu. What's the difference? So the Ksav Sefer, Ksav Sefer's son in one of his chuvas, gives an explanation. He says that by Pinyin Aben, you don't always make a Shechayana by Pidyan Aben. There are cases where if it's done through a Shliach, according to those days that you can do it through a Shliach, there's no Shechayana. So since the bracha on the Pidyan Aben you always make, but Shechayana you don't always make, the bracha on the mitzvah takes precedence. Here we can give another explanation, another difference. When you make a bracha Shechayana on fruit, the Shechayana on the fruit and the fruit, the bracha on the fruit, are two totally different things. The Shechayana is a bracha that you make for the simcha that you are eating a new fruit. The bracha on the fruit itself is a bracha that you make in order to be matya. Otherwise, unless you acknowledge that the Eibishter is the one who provides us with the fruit, we have no heter to eat. So you're talking about two different objectives. Shechianu is to express simcha and Berapriyetz is to ask Hashem permission by acknowledging that He is the one who created the fruit. So, to say the bracha on the fruit and then say shechayonu, that would be a hefsik because the shechayonu has a totally different function. I contrast, when you're dealing with pidyon ben and shechayonu, a birchus mitzvah and shechayonu, what is the bracha on the mitzvah? You're thanking Hashem for the opportunity to do the mitzvah. And shechayonu, you're showing Hashem the, 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 the joy that you have in doing the mitzvah. So, the, the, the objective is the same. So, the shechayonu is not a stira, it's not a contradiction to the bracha on the mitzvah, it's an extension of it. It's a, it's a derivative of it, and therefore it cannot be considered to be a hepsik.